All right, YouTube, we got it. The prize from the ASUS ROG Twitter contest has arrived. The ROG Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi version. This is a mother of a motherboard. Um, I think the really cool stuff, this is PCIe 4.0. There's two M.2 slots in this thing. There's a ton of rear I.O. and you get the Wi-Fi. This is, um, to my knowledge, the highest end ROG, ASUS ROG uh, X570, which supports Ryzen chips from Gen 1 all the way up to current Gen 3 motherboard in existence. So really excited. One thing I will note that I think is really interesting because uh, I don't know why they do this, but these boxes, this came in the box just like this, not sealed. There's no shrink wrap on this. There's no like plastic seal that you gotta undo. Which is, I always just find that really interesting because it's very difficult to know if these are refurbs, if they are uh, open box items, who knows? I mean, I, I, I got this directly from ASUS as you can tell by the, uh, the tape on there. So I'm assuming it's brand new, but it's just weird that it doesn't come, this is a piece of technology, it doesn't come shrink wrapped. Uh, anyway, all right, let's go ahead and open it up. I'll give you guys the view of the opening. All right, so this is kind of interesting. You got this like cardboard feature here that kind of does a slant like that. Um, so it's not like an open box like that. It actually gives a little branding, enhances the open open box experience. You've got a piece of plastic here that kind of, I guess, helps to keep the motherboard in place. Um, we've got, I'm gonna take the motherboard out for a second to so take a look at this. Um, this is it. Uh, it is, it's not a light motherboard, I'll tell you that in terms of the M.2 slot. So here's one, here's two, um, three PCIe, 4.0s, tons. You can get eight SATA, uh, SATA ports here. All your modern amenities when it comes to turning things on and off. Um, I believe there's dual BIOS in here as well. Yeah, there's BIOS flash, uh, clear CMOS right there on the IO, which is great for overclocking. Um, little start button there. Um, all good stuff. This is a great. This is a great board. You got your fan for the the chipset that there. Um, all your VRMs have heat sinks on them as well. Um, this is great. This is a great board. On the rear side of it, nothing really special. This is just the back of the motherboard. Um, if you really want to know like what this stuff does, go and check out Buildzoid. I guess he'll explain it <laughs> much better than I can. Um, but yeah, this is it. This, to be honest, this. <laughs> There's not a whole lot that's different in terms of this and the slightly cheaper model than this if you don't need Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, all it does, the only difference is it adds these little um, antenna ports for, um, you know, that you can add. You screw them in there. Wi-Fi 6, good stuff. So this is a great motherboard. It is high end. I'm very excited. And the fact that this is free, um, I think it's retailing probably still in the $500 range, um, which is kind of amazing. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put this back in the box because I don't wanna, I don't wanna break it. Let's unbox the rest of it. Um, some more plastic where that was resting in the box. And then underneath it, um, we've got some ROG stickers. We have the manual, the, and the manual has some other stuff in it. So manual, uh, DVD, I'm assuming with some drivers and stuff. Um, I don't even have a DVD or a, an optical drive on my computer at all, so I don't know how that's gonna help. Uh, you've got a uh, cable mod. Um, I'll put this coupon code, I guess, in the, in the thing, but if anybody wants to grab that coupon code and save 20% off cap, uh, cable mod, you can. Um, another piece of information thanking me for the purchase of the ROG, which I didn't do, and a I guess, um, little cup holder placemat thing. Let's see if there's anything else in the bottom of the box. Yes. All right, so we've got some cables here as well. We Let me move this aside, give myself a little bit of room. Okay, um, so here's the Wi-Fi antenna. So you've got the ability to screw this guy in there and then set your antennas up however you see fit. I guess we can open that up. This is kind of, kind of interesting to see. Um, okay, so you've got a, uh, it looks like a little clip or maybe a, a, that's the stand for this thing to sit in. Let's go ahead and open this up too, why not? Actually, I'm gonna leave it in the, in the packaging. Um, and then you've got your things that you screw into the side. So this will kind of sit on top, it's your antenna, and I'm assuming that this sits in there to help keep it upright. 
All right, we've got some in the box SATA cables with the angled kind of SATA cable, which is always kind of nice. There are four of them in here, which is kind of cool. You can go up to, like I said, eight in there. This is some lighting nodes, uh, I would assume, because it's got the three pin with the little thing. Yeah, this is, this is something for lighting. This is another extension for lighting. This is, okay, this is, uh, this is an important thing for, uh, for the motherboard itself. This little chip, if you're not familiar with how this works, this is a chip that kind of helps with your with your um, the the front ports on your computer to turn things on and off. So make sure you use this thing. It's got your HD LED, your ground, your reset, um, power power light. So if you have if you have one of the motherboards that has a um, not the individual things to add in for the power reset, etc., you can use this. Plug it into the motherboard. You're good to go. Guys, that's it. Let me take back the motherboard. Trying to be very careful with it. Um, this is it. This is your Asus cr uh, Crosshair ROG version 8 X570. Works with all your modern Ryzen chips. And uh, yeah, I'll try to give you a tour of the thing when I get it in my computer itself. Thank you, guys. Here's the rest of it. All right, everybody. This is the final product. You've got the... Asus ROG Crosshair Hero 8 Wi-Fi in this machine. It's rocking and rolling. Um, let me give you a little bit of background about everything that I've got going on here because it's a little bit of an eclectic build so far. I would eventually like this to be all ROG. As soon as they have a couple products that kind of are the, are, are the highest of the high end, they will go in this machine. But it is cooling the Ryzen 9 3950X, which is a custom graphic that I threw onto that AIO. The AIO itself is the Aorus 360 liquid cooler. The fans that are running in the front and the rear exhaust are actually uh, Corsair, and I just left them all on kind of RGB spinning mode, so they sort of look like they all sync up together since it's basically the same thing, but um, the fans on the top just came with the AIO. I try to keep it as uniform as possible. Uh, the video card is the EVGA for the win 3 RTX 2080 Ti. The case is the NZXT, um, the NZXT PUBG H700 um, limited edition case. Some of the hard drives that I've got rocking in there. The one that's kind of the main heart of this system is the Sabrin Rocket PCIe 4.0 M2 NVMe uh, one terabyte drive. So that's in there. Um, it is lightning fast. You, I also have a Samsung Evo 960 M2 uh, hard drive in there as well. The RAM, 32 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z latency is 17 i had that dialed in and overclocked a little tiny bit basically um, it is samsung b die so it's really good ram to overclock uh yeah and, um and then i've got you know a little bracket here to reduce the gpu sag pick that up for like 10 bucks on amazon but over time when they release the new 3000 series gpus that's just going to go in there. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a three three thousand series twenty eighty Ti as soon as they come out. I would definitely not be against throwing an ROG version of that in this build and eventually housing a uh, ROG cooler in there and replacing the fans as well. Try to keep this an all ROG machine. That'd be pretty dope. I have a couple other slave drives in there. Like Kingston HyperX that was really cheap. Um, another Samsung Evo that's there on the front, and then two spinning hard drives in the back that are just kind of like dumb data drive for work and um you know all all that kind of stuff so this is that uh here's the rest of my setup i've got i'm also I've got three different asus monitors they're just 1080p monitors old school ones in the past like from like 2012 that i picked up um actually got really lucky picked them out at a garage sale all three of them and the bracket that's holding the three monitors for all for a hundred bucks, which hundred bucks at a garage sale is actually a lot of money. But when I looked at these monitors, I was like, you know what, this is going to create that, that dream setup for me. So I'm going to be happy about that. The, the main monitor is the <clears throat> ROG PG 279 Q, which is a 2k 165 Hertz 
G-Sync monitor, which is the main one right there. Um, peripherals, I've got mostly Logitech, so I've got a um, Logitech soundbar in the front. The soundbar here, this is an old school one. I'm not sure why they discontinued this thing. Uh, because it's great. It's a laptop um, speaker, but it's pretty awesome for a setup like this. I would like to get um, maybe a new, a more modern version, but it gives me the sound I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I mean, when I when I actually do have that, um, the other the headphones that I that I use are the 933s. So these are the G um, the G Suite 933s from Logitech as well. 710 plus keyboard. Um, G502, Stream Deck, uh, pretty much everything you can think of. Um, the the uh, microphone is the HyperX Quadcast, which is dope. I mean, the the biggest thing I like about it is just that you can mute it and unmute it like that. Had a Yeti in the past, um, but that one happens to work pretty well. Yeah, guys, I mean, this is it. This is the, from, in terms of the, what this build was, and how it all came together. The foundation of your build is always going to be your motherboard. Some people will be like, well, the foundation is going to be the GPU or the CPU, but it all has to live somewhere. So you want to make sure if you're doing some overclocking, if you're doing anything even slightly extreme, you're going to want to run that on one of the best boards out there. I did consider a couple other ones. There were some that had three M.2 uh, drive slots on there. Uh, but I read the reviews. I, I listened to to the pros who are out there. You know, Buildzoid is. I'm a big fan of that guy. Um, and Hardware Unbox, Hardware Nexus. Nobody had anything bad to say other than possibly the price point when it came to this. So I did get this motherboard free in a giveaway that uh, ASUS was running. So thank you very much for ASUS for doing that. But in terms of the performance, what you get with it, where we're at, I could not be happier. I want to say thank you to everyone um, out there for watching the video, the unboxing, the final product, where we're at. Um, I'd be happy to share some of, I'll put some links in the description for the benchmark that I that was able to achieve with 3D Mark um, and with uh, Cinebench and all that kind of stuff if you're interested. But yeah, uh, I happen to love it. And this is the dream build I've been putting together and saving up for for quite a bit. And I finally have it. I'm very, very happy with it. So, guys, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. Let me know what your what your thoughts are. Do you have any um, have any comments or any thoughts on this particular motherboard, um, Asus, or any of the other parts that I have in here? Do you have any suggestions on some of the things that I should be doing that maybe I'm doing wrong um, or that I should consider for my next build? Um, I'm happy to take all suggestions under consideration and, uh, and all that stuff. So leave me some comments, like the video and all that stuff, and I will see you next time. See ya.